In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to get the user's current location using JavaScript. So whether you're working on an e-commerce project where you need to know where the user is to deliver their products, or you just have some other need to know where the user is located to supply them with a customised experience on your site, then it might be useful to get the user's location directly from your app. And of course the user needs to provide consent for you to do that, or alternatively they need to provide you with their location by completing some kind of form. But in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use the Geolocation API to find the user's approximate location. So the Geolocation API is found in the Navigator object, and you might want to test for this property's existence to check whether the browser that the user is using supports Geolocation before starting the rest of your code. So there's a function you can call on the Geolocation property called GetCurrentPosition, and this function asks for a couple of arguments, in particular what function should be called if a successful geolocation is made, and a similar function if there's an error. So I'm just going to pass this in the console.log function so you can see what information is returned from each of these. And you'll need to accept the consent box if prompted to allow the geolocation API to get the user's location, but if that is accepted you'll get a response that looks a little bit like this. With the main thing that we're interested in is the latitude and longitude values. So these indicate the geographical location of the user, which although is useful doesn't really help us if we want to display this information back to the user to check if we've got the right location for them and then after that use their location within the rest of our app. So most browsers won't have any additional information built into them to find the user's location or address, but we can use a third party API to get that information by using a reverse geocode lookup. And one such provider is the OpenCage Geocoder, which if you sign up for a free account with them, you get access to their API, which you can pass a longitude and latitude value to, and it will give you some data, including the text-based value of the address back to you in the browser. So let's go ahead and copy that URL, and then we'll write a more complex function to pass to the success callback of our getCurrentPosition function. So with this function, we're going to take the geolocation position object that's passed back from the success callback, then grab the latitude and longitude values from the coords property, and then finally pass those values to the OpenCage data API, and then just display the JSON data that's returned on the console. So now if we call the getCurrentPosition function, but pass the successful lookup function as the first callback, You can see this time we get the API data come back from OpenCage, and if we expand that out, digging into the results array, you can see there's some broken down information about my location, including the country, street, and in the UK, our postcode. So this formatted string is probably what I'd want to display to the user, so that they can double check that we've got the right location for them, and probably what we'd want to store and use in our application too. So there you have a simple way of getting the user's location using JavaScript. It's a two-part process. First use the geolocation API to get the longitude and latitude, and then convert that to a textual format using a third-party service.